Um, so we started the project. Um, re sorry. I need, I need this. Uh, well, like everybody, really, it was um, to enhance the partnership uh, between French, English, and Welsh departments to give pupils a more consistent approach at Key Stage 3. Now, many a time, we're a relatively small school, only over 500 pupils. And many a time in the staff room, you start talking, oh, they can't do this, they can't do that. But never we got the time to actually get together and tackle it. So we use the funding, so right, there's our chance. We will have money to have in sets together and develop it a bit more. And we wanted to improve orders here at Key Stage 4 with a particular focus on the registers of language. Um, we found that children, the way they talk to each other in English is not uh, great, <laughs> let alone the way they speak to us, uh, let alone in Welsh and French. So what we did, uh, we produced a common marking code piloted first of all by English, French and Welsh in the summer term and it's now used across the curriculum. Uh, we produced a triple literacy booklet for all pupils at KC3 <coughs> and we used the improving your own learning mm -hmm. and performance uh, to address the issue of oracy and registers of language. So if I start with the marking code, it all started with a questionnaire. Eh? you know, pupil voice, we're taking all the right boxes. <laughs> and um, very simple question, I know how to check my work. Yeah, 72% of the children totally know how to check my work. When you say, you know, before you give me your work back, make sure you check, double check, triple check, yeah, I'm there, 72% of them. <laughs> so we broke it down then and asked them, I know how to check and correct my work, looking at punctuation, verbs, agreements, and word order, you know, especially for uh, Welsh and French. Uh, not so good. <laughs> no, not so much really. You know, when we said 72%, actually, uh, if I give you the exact figure, it was 63% for punctuation. That was that was okay. Verbs were down to 44%. Agreement, you know, in French uh, was only 41%, and word order was 48. So we felt okay. So we need to really pinpoint to the children now where it is that they are going wrong because clearly they think they know. And when you said, well, actually, look at it again, no. So that's what we did for them. Uh, but more importantly, we asked them across the board, my teacher marks the way I write as well as the content. Uh, that was a bit worrying. This was only 61.5% of the cases where across the curriculum, um, other subject areas were actually tackling the grammar and tackling the way they were writing. And we felt, oh, hello, you know, we're battling it in languages and really we need to have everybody um, on board here. So we produced um, a marking code. Oh, there's a good start, right? It's okay, but for me, <laughs> as you do. Right, so every room now displays uh, the marking code. It's an A3. It's on A3 in every single room, and every teacher was given an A5 copy as well to put in your planner. It started very simple because it was only French, Welsh, and English. Uh, only this, this section really existed at the start. I used to tackle things like, you know, spelling error is a squiggly line, capital letter is a circle. But then grammar, we're putting the whole sentence in bracket. You know, th there's something wrong in that sentence, now you start looking at it. Uh, punctuation was like the square bracket. Gender and mutations, to take French and Welsh. So it's a one in triangle. Word order, we have the claros going on top of the bracket. Verb ending, big exclamation mark either side of the sentence. So we're starting to pinpoint to the children, look at that again. You know, when you say you can check your work, actually look at those particular areas. Um, but then we realized that the maths department in the to them had started their own little marking code. So we went across the, the curriculum and asked, right, who else is doing what? And we all included it in, in our own marking code. Um, the reaction at the bottom is that the children have got to mark to do it again, sorry, um, and it must be corrected for homework once a month. Okay, so they've got to look at what we've said and they've got to rewrite this piece of work um, at least once a month. So, no, if you show the fin first. Yeah, the fin is the marking code. Yeah, it's all right. I'll show, no, I'll show you we brought it to the children because uh, Silk Henry came to film us in July. It was not a very pleasant experience, I've got to say. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's for the better good, greater good or whatever, but never again. So, um, Claire, head of Welsh, is going to show you how uh, we did it with the children and how it was presented. Cynllun marcio, the marking code. Can you open your literacy booklet, please? Okay, you all know to find it on the inside cover of your literacy book. Yeah? Right, okay. So, this 
Lisa then, as you know, is going to be using every department across the school. Right, just so that you can look back and correct your mistakes rather than us just correcting your mistakes for you. Because what tends to happen, I correct your spelling, you don't even look at it. And then you carry on spelling the words incorrectly. So in this case now, we're not correcting it for you, we're telling you that there's an error there. Usually when we mark your books, you don't even look back. You don't think, oh, I've spelled my wrong there. Be honest, you don't, you just carry on and then you keep spelling my wrong. Okay, so now, we've not, we're not going to change it for you. We tell you where the errors are. You've got to then look at where am I wrong here then? And you've got to go back to your booklet. Okay, so the reaction is the last piece of marked work must be corrected for homework once a month. And you've corrected looking at this. So you're going to look at the code. But what's Miss telling me I've gone wrong here then? I look at the code. It gives you a hint. You've got to work out where you're going wrong. With any way to find out, rather a thrawn a gid and marka quite a plant on a dim casonde brunk to marka. A better in time law, either rather in gorvarka, a quite no to the plant them an edge no la a quite. He well breath all the camgameria does other than camsi tavi. A on a dim a guesta. So I call it because it's capital letter. Yeah. And then the other one, I think that's punctuation missing, right? A fourth okay, a country marka. Of a pawb and mercury in fall, but system is a bod rhaid i plant edrych ar y cynllun i weli camgymeriad nhw. Nhw oedd nawr fod i edrych beth oedd yn angawyr, a nhw oedd fod i gywiro fe nid ni fel y thrawon. Pwystais o hwnna ddwi'n trio codio'r safon, os sy'n ni'n cael nhw i gywiro gwaith i hunen yn pen draw byddwn nhw ddim gwneud y camgymeriadau amlwg. Right, she made me promise I would tell you all that she's actually a lovely lady and she does smile. <laughs> <laughs> but she's not really, she's like that when she's teaching. No, I'm joking. No, it, we, we were all a bit nervous on the day. Um, I've got other examples here, I mean, if, if they will work. It was just to show the rest of the school as well, because like many other schools, we had to present it to the rest of the staff. Um, sorry. Right, is it coming? <coughs> the English one is working. Is it? Will that work? Yes, it is. If I um, go down, what they were doing in English, uh, the French one was just to show you that even when they're in year seven, there's only about four lines that they have written, you know, the basics, but still they're tackling it from there. You know, if it's just the capital letters at this point um, or anything, you know, and it did work. Now, in English, obviously, they've been doing it for a bit longer. You can see, sorry, it's not in color, how, you know, when there was a spelling error, obviously it's been corrected on top. Um, and then some tips, you know, what you need to be looking at. So, oh, yeah, she's got it. I need to look at where, where, and where. Again, talking about oracy. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm French, and how can you confuse those three words? They don't even sound the same. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, I sometimes have been, okay. So, anyway, so that, you know, a couple of, of tips there. Uh, same here, you can see how they've used the, um, you know, the, the brackets uh, to identify different, um, so the, the punctuation, etc., and what they have to do. But you need to be pre prepared for that kind of thing. You know, target, look at the spelling rule for double consonants. What's the spelling rule? You know, I don't know what it is. Yeah. So, okay, back to square one. But again, you've got to be prepared for it and then adapt your teaching and say, right, we need, we need to go over it again. But I've got to say in the English one, my favorite is this one. Um, it wouldn't off be a surprise otherwise. Um, again, Odyssey, ooh, let's go, let's go over it again. And it's wrong. She noticed it is wrong. The word should all have been half. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we are getting there, slowly. Um, uh, they are children. You've got to love them, haven't you? Um, so, yeah, you, you know, it, it is a working process. I know we can all laugh. It's not very nice. Um, but we did laugh when we saw it. Okay, same in Welsh again. It's not a very long text. But you know, where, where things have gone wrong, they've got a little target, uh, and then they've rewritten the whole text for homework, and hopefully addressing all the mistakes that were there. Um, and I've just put one science one, because as I said, we have driven it through the curriculum now, everybody's doing it, you know, languages lead the way, always. And it's nice, it's nice to know, you know, that they are not doing the little literacy target as well at the bo bottom. Um, as with everything, obviously, now that it's been going on for a while, we've realized, uh, especially for French and science, actually, the science teacher said, right, the, the marking code is lovely, but, you know, what if they've used the wrong word? What if there's a word missing, especially in French? So we are adapting it. Sorry, I've got to pick on. Anyway, that's the impact it's had. As you can see, it's much better now. On average, all of those has, has uh, increased by 20%. Okay, 20% more of the children are now able to tackle those areas 
uh, those areas where they're marking. So we did a triple literacy professor moving on. Uh, same thing, we asked them, do you know what those are in English, French, and Welsh? Can you give us example? Verbs? Yeah, we're there. They all know their verbs in all three languages. Um, and it was going down a bit as we were going into more, you know, adverbs, preposition. That was for the whole of Key Stage 3. So, of course, we don't address that in French until, you know, you're 89 anyway, in all fairness to them. So, we got together. No, fine. And uh, we looked mm -hmm. at our schemes of work. And we agreed then, right, look, in, in Year 7, we're going to just do simple sentences. In French and Welsh, it's only three collectives, and but, because. Obviously, in Welsh, in, in English, you need to do a bit more. Um, we had a particular focus on the tenses because, you know, we try to do the, the perfect tense in French and the kids still tell us, I've done this and I've seen that. And my favourite, I've read it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spasms then and I think, well, I'm banging on about, you know, the perfect tense and the irregular, French, uh, irregular verbs in French that we've got to clue in English. You know, so th that was one of the main things. We produced then, no, fine, it's okay, I've got to plan B. Every child at Key Stage 3 has got uh, a literacy in your pocket uh, booklet. The first page, as Claire showed in the video, is the marking code. Then there's a page on what's a noun, what's an adjective, what's an adverb, you know, they're all in there. And then we've got subject-specific pages, for example, uh, Welsh has gone for mutations. We've gone for the, uh, for the verbs, history, science, so every subject has put something in. On the back pages, like the previous school just did, it's a dictionary to encourage the children, if you come across a word in one language, well, go and ask the other teachers, you know, to do it in the others. I'm speeding up. <coughs> the impact, again, on that was fab. I'm moving on. Uh, improving oracy, we looked at the um, essential skills, improving your learning and performance. We set up a little um, role play, still came to film that as well, in a restaurant, to make them use the qu'est-ce que tu vas prendre, and then turn around to the waiter and use the vous. You know, it's a very informal context, but you get to get it, and they did it in Welsh as well, uh, for T and Ri. We found it was more difficult to measure the impact of that one. Um, we identified pupils in year 9, so they're now in year 10, waiting for their speaking and listening marks, which would be perhaps something to, to look into. But every single member of staff said confidence has increased. So, you know, I, I know it's always possible to measure with nice graphs and whatever, but, you know. So next step, uh, produce a Key Stage 4 booklet, which we now have done, and it's being distributed to Key Stage 4 this week. <laughs> um, same thing as the Key Stage 3. It's the children, actually, who asked the Key Stage 4 children, who said, oh, why can't we have those? Mm -hmm. So they said, well, you can. You know, so we have done it for them. Slightly different, because um, the pages are going to be smaller for connectives, adverbs, adjectives. It's just a reminder, hopefully. But every subject this time, every single subject in the school, has produced a page. It can be key question or the kind of question they ask for GCSE and how to understand them and what kind of answer you expect for those. Uh, or it could be just keywords. And the same thing again with the dictionary at the end. And I think that's it. And we want to incorporate the registers of language. It's still something we need to, uh, to address a bit more formally in our schemes of work. And I think that was it. <laughs>